Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, here's another Littlest Pet Shop video. I know you guys have been loving them and I really do appreciate the whole LPS community coming together and finding my videos. I'm having a blast making them. So here, we have another LPS Nib unboxing, but this one does not have anything to do with unboxing a character, but they're accessories. We've got this little wiener dog wearing a wiener dog and we're gonna unbox him today. Can you tell the direction of the video? It always has to do with an LPS popular character. And speaking of that character, we can't start this LPS popular video without showing LPS popular merch. So today we've got an LPS Team Savvy by Sophie GTV sweatshirt. It's similar to the crew neck that you guys have seen me wear, but this one's a gray sweatshirt. I did get bleach on it, but you know what? It just makes it look cuter. That just means I have my own customized Sophie GTV merch. <laughs> and we're gonna need the support of this Savvy merch today because we're gonna do a little bit of bullying today to her. We're gonna turn into Brooke today. So if you guys are team Brooke, this might be the video for you. So if you're excited, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the herd. Let's get started. Before we actually get started, this video is sponsored by Hat Head Store on Etsy. An LPS account, LPS Violet, DM'd me and actually asked if I could showcase one of their Etsy pieces in this video and it relates to Littlest Pet Shop. I'm so excited to see what's in here. The little packaging is so cute, this little burlap sack. I could definitely put some LPS in here. And LPS Violet left a note. I'm gonna link their Etsy shop in the description box. I'm so excited, I don't even know what to expect. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, LPS Violet put a little collie in there, no way! The little accessories that LPS Violet makes are actually all crocheted too. I can't believe she would give me a rare little LPS like this. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. So we got a paw print, a very appropriate for LPS, and adopt, don't shop. So the first hat we have it's, I guess, specifically made for collies, which is really nice. Look at his little ears popping up. It's kind of like a hoodie style. This is so cute if you had, like, a slumber party, like, photography theme or winter theme, and they're all, like, cozy. Anything, like, warm and cozy, these hats would be perfect for. It's nice, too, because they're crochet. They're not too tight, so you can take them off the littlest pet shop. Oh, he's eating the crochet. Comment down below, can you guys crochet? I wish. I wish I also knew how to knit as well. These are the two holes for the ears and it just goes around their neck, which is pretty simple. And oh my gosh, I didn't expect to have Sage's cousin here. I actually had this LPS as a kid. He had like a little CD disc in his mouth and he came with like a whole set with a tightrope and a skateboard or something. You did not have to give me an LPS, LPS Violet, but thank you. I actually love him so much, I missed him. This one does not have ear holes, but I know who this one can fit. Just like the blue one, it has this little band that goes just over their head. Let's see. See if it's easy to put on. <laughs> this is so cute. You know what I was thinking when I was putting this on? The measurements that LPS Violet probably has to do to like fit these around like certain pets' heads. Oh my gosh, and if you want to bend the ears a little bit. That is so cute. Look how cute they look next to each other. Definitely check out LPS Violet's Etsy shop, Hat Head Store, and also don't forget to follow LPS Violet on Instagram because they post a bunch of more accessories that they crochet and they are so cute. So many different colors, shapes, sizes, and your LPS probably definitely want a hat now after seeing this video. So thank you LPS Violet for sending me this, these accessories and sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the video. So here's a close up of this LPS nib and of course adore the box art. We've got the custom art of the dachshund we're gonna unbox today. And I wonder what this sitting short hair sticker means. And we've got some updated box art. We've got a turtle, a bird. Is this a flying squirrel or a sugar glider? I think it's a sugar glider <laughs> and a cute little mouse. Now this LPS is 992 and I realized that it states that they're the funniest, which it clearly shows through their fit today, but their personalities usually show through their pupils. But this is their default pupil shape, just the circles. So later in the LPS line, did it just explicitly say it on the box instead of showing it on their eyes? This is interesting. If you guys know, comment down below. And I know that he looks like a snack. He's dressed as a hot dog today. He's even got the condiments, but do not swallow your LPS. This is the back and this is the first nib that I've unboxed on this channel that really highlights their personality. So it says, collect them all, the cuddliest, funniest, sassiest, hungriest, and happiest. 
each sold separately. You've just welcomed the new pet into your very own Littles Pet Shop where there are fun adventures around every corner and lots of new pets to love. And then it showcases all of these LPS. Some of them were on the front of the box. I love these Angora bunnies. And these two, the Swan and Crocodile, are special edition pets. How big is your little pet shop? Products and colors may vary. That's new. Retain this package for future reference. And 2008 Hasbro. So I was seven years old when this came out what are your guys thoughts on the previous nibs that i've unboxed it always shows this specific lps in a big product image on the back i kind of like that more than just showing these lps because i feel like instead of showing the lps on the back of the box that should just be for the pamphlets like other pets that you can get that are close in the number but i feel like the back of the box should just be reserved to the pet you're unboxing especially if it is an opportunity to show more of the art of the specific lps you're unboxing and you know me i don't keep my lps in nibs and we We'll rip up the packaging. Oh, that was not satisfying. This is a stack. Oh my God, there's a whole book in here. Let's take a look at the pamphlet. If you guys want this art, take a good look at it because I am not keeping this. This pamphlet seems like a big one. Oh my gosh, I hope it's a big poster. Do you guys remember when I unboxed Sage and we literally saw heaven? Like, I want that experience again. Let's smooth her out. I feel like I'm literally a pirate who just found a treasure map and now we gotta digest it. <laughs> We've got Deco Pets showcased here. I was never actually a fan of these. I don't even remember having them because I didn't really care for them. I always liked miniature toys, so like, since they were jumbo, I guess I never really had the desire to collect them. But you know what I did love? The teensies. I don't want to collect every single normal Lotus Pet Shop, but I want to collect every single teensy. Miniature toys are some of my most favorite things. And the fact that these were tiny, oh my gosh, I was obsessed with them. Back when I didn't own the LPS Popular cast and the normal size LPS, I used my dog and cat teensies as LPS Popular characters because I couldn't afford them at the time. So these really fulfilled my dreams when I got rid of all my LPS because I actually kept my teensies. Here's the iconic DS games that I feel like we all share like the same memories of it. Here's some more teensies. I always loved these because you could like bring them around. I remember I would bring these literally to my mom's doctor's appointments and one time I lost one of my pets in the waiting room she was a golden retriever and she was so beautiful and i'm actually sad to this day and here's the lps website that i actually never got to play so this was an experience i never got to have so please if you guys have any funny fun memories tell me in the comments down below because i never got to experience this and then we've got the big crib over here we've got that great dean that everybody wants that prototype that never came out he's absolutely gorgeous i wish he did the seals were some of my favorite lps they are just so cute and i remember like i loved feeling their heads because they were so smooth and lps on the go purses i never actually had an lps on the go purse but i know brigitte leblanc lps 1542 comes in a purse and you know if i get my hands on that we are unzipping her and taking her out and this is actually playful paws pet daycare comment down below did you guys ever see the show doggy daycare that's what this just reminded me of we have an answer to what, what this symbol means look for the symbol on little pet shop toys to collect other stickers so i guess this is where you ship it out and you get the lps koala in the mail yep send in your stickers and get it by mail oh we can't do it guys it expired may 15 2009 and here we have lps tamagotchis <laughs> i never had these either but i always loved the little keychain lps that came with them because i loved miniature things unlock levels to find your pet's best friend and then the pets will play together play more than 20 games we have another prototype here this cat is now a short hair but over here she's a paw up cat and look isn't that the meat that mimi tore up when savannah found her <laughs> and here's the checklist of all these lps I love the mop dog and like paint splattered short hair. The frog and duck are my favorite out of this friend group circle over here. I love that Great Dane and I love the pattern of that bunny. Over here, oh my gosh, I loved this fox when I had her as a kid. She's definitely one of my favorites in here. And I love the bat, but I'm not a big fan of the big forelock on the forehead. <laughs> this one I want so bad though. This is a lemur, right? A lemur or is it um a meerkat? It's a meerkat. I love that. I never had a meerkat. And here's some of the postcard pets. I've definitely we had these two i do remember oh wow look at the detail in all of these look at the panda's eyes shoot look at her lashes she popped off i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did let's move on to the pet so it comes with the lps logo that's removable that comes with the art 
of the dachshund. We've got two attached bowls, maybe one for food, one for water. It's also got some cute flower designs that LPS uses a lot with their accessories. And then we've got mustard. Are you guys a mustard type person or ketchup? I only like honey mustard. Honey mustard, I am obsessed with. Oh my gosh, I love honey mustard. Regular mustard, not so much. And then we've got a little tiny ketchup bottle. So comment down below, how do you like your dogs? I know who you're. he's happy to be free. He's like, I'm blinded by all these ring lights, but at least I can have some fresh oxygen. So let's free him from all these rubber bands. So it's this big hot dog outfit, wide enough to fit around his back. This hot dog only has ketchup and mustard on this one side, which is funny. The dog is exposed quite slightly. But dang, if this is the two breads, this is a wide dog. And this is the dachshund. Slay with the eyebrows. Look at them eyebrows. Shoot. I love the sage green eyes we've got going on. He's got this brown body with cute tips for the paws. Same color with the ears. Oh, look at the ears. Such a straight cut. And the tip of his tail is brown along with the back of his legs. Now he's a little stiff. He's not bobbling. But he bobbles when you move his head to the side. But he's stiff on the side. And he's stiff like here. So let's loosen him up a bit. Call me a chiropractor. I can help your LPS. Now let's talk about the dachshund mold. Why did they change it? We all know that Savannah Reed, her mold is so nice. Like they have, they share the same body shape, but they changed the head. And I'm not sure why. I like this one better. I think it's the forehead for me and the flat ears. The way her ears are perked up here, I think it looks so cute. His muzzle is also more pointed compared to Savannah's. Maybe this could be pre-makeover savvy. <laughs> They've got the same eyes and similar colors. They actually do look related. I kind of like it. But comment down below, which mold do you prefer? I definitely prefer this one. The head throws me off a bit. I think this one's definitely more flattering. But let's put his accessories back on. The hot dog on his body could fit both ways. It could fit this way or this way, whichever way you prefer. It is a bit loose. That's why he was strangled with rubber bands. But luckily it's not that loose where it'll fall once he jiggles up a bit. This ketchup has been sitting here since 2009, so I think we need to freshen him up a bit. New line of ketchup, new line of mustard, and now he's ready for his sponsorship for a hot dog brand. Doesn't he look like the employee that stands outside of like a food place and like swings the arrow and points to the restaurant for customers to come? He's doing a good job. I would definitely buy from whatever he's selling. But this is everything he comes with. Fun fact, with the newer generation of Little's Pet Shops, there was a similar set like this where Dachshund actually has hot dog accessories. I'll insert a picture here. I definitely love the idea of a little hot dog coming as a hot dog. A Especially because if this one's personality is funny, I know that he is a blast to hang around. But you know, with all my LPS nibs, it always revolts to LPS popular. And I want to put his outfit on Savannah Reed. So you guys have seen LPS popular. And you guys remember the party of the century where Brooke had the whole plan for Operation Fry the Sausage? That plan entailed dyeing Savannah's fur black, removing her fur, and like putting super glue all over her body, which was crazy. But because LPS Popular never finished and we were left on a cliffhanger, Brooke was forming Operation Barbecue the Sausage. And we don't know what that plan entails. So what if it entailed turning Savannah Reed into a sausage? and barbecuing her, literally. For all my Team Brooke stands, you're gonna like this one. Do your worst to the sausage. Barbecue her. Psych, you thought I was gonna let Brooke barbecue the sausage? Uh-uh, we need to get Savannah equipped. We have something here that's gonna help Savannah. And if you guys saw my first nib unboxing where I got the accessories Savannah and Brooke wore in the party of the century, there's an accessory that I was missing in that video. And after years of searching, I finally found it. So let's open it up. You guys know how a lot of the LPS accessories Sophie GTV uses comes from Polly Pockets. Well, there's an accessory that Savannah Reed has worn that I didn't even know it was an LPS or Polly Pocket accessory. I found what Sophie GTV used for Savannah's angel wings. I've been looking for this accessory for years and I finally bought it from someone on eBay and it literally just took me searching angel accessory Polly Pocket, and this set came up, and I don't know why I didn't think of it before, because a lot of the accessories Sophie GTV uses comes from Polly Pockets, and I finally got my hands on it, because I was always wondering where these wings came from. Sophie GTV really is so creative, because she definitely used all her resources, and I think this halo is for her too. If she had brown hair, she would literally look like Savannah Reed, and this is the dog. She low-key looks like Savannah before her makeover, which is so cute. She's got this little star collar, and these are the wings that Sophie GTV uses. It connects to her like a saddle, kind of like the sausage costume. Now over here, we're Team Savvy. 
So we need to help her with her glow up. Now in the show, it did seem like the wings were cut. So maybe Sophie cut this bar. If we have to, we have to. But let me see if it actually connects to her by waist. You don't even have to cut anything. They fit Savannah Reed perfectly. It's like they were meant for her. Wow. Sophie GTV, man, you are so clever. So I've been reading the comments and you guys said to use sticky tack to attach LPS accessories. And that's what I'm going to do. So I put the sticky tack on the accessory. But what does Sophie GTV use? Because hers is clear. Like I swear she glues it on her LPS. Because the way Sophie GTV attaches her accessories, you can't even see the sticky tack. But you can see it on here. So this is the headband on. But I'm not a fan of the sticky tack because I hate the texture. And you can still see through what it looks like since Savannah Reed's headband is clear. She's got her accessories on but we can't forget to bling her out. So we just blinged out Savannah like she was in the show. The only thing I don't have is the necklace Tom gave Savannah, but I don't even ship Tom and Savannah. So this can be the aftermath when she threw that crap off and made it fly across the party room. I don't think Brooke will ever succeed in barbecuing the sausage because Savannah has her baddies that have her back. And all Brooke has, two bystanders who will never stand up for themselves. Oh, and you know what also Savannah has? That Brooke does not. Savannah's got two boys that have all eyes on her. So Brooke can plan all she wants. We've still got more team savvy. And you know what? I'm calling Savannah's plan air fry the kitten. Eat up, y'all. And that's how LPS Popular ends. You're welcome. I gave you the ending. There's also one more thing Sophie GTV has that I finally got, guys. It's a disco ball. And in the wise words of Savannah, there's no need to stop the party for us. <laughs> guys, I had so much fun making this video, man. I hope you guys had so much fun watching it. And for all my team savvies out there, we finally got to witness Savannah beat Brooke. And I also realized I hate sticky tech. So if you guys are ever sad about, you know, LPS popular being left on a cliffhanger and not having an ending yet, this could be the ending. So Brooke got the karma she deserved. And also in light of all this, we've got a new dachshund into the collection. Let's hope Brooke doesn't bully him too. But anyway, if you guys want to see more LPS related videos from me, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave comments everywhere. Have a blessed day.